Welcome everybody. Today's a slightly different video talking about um, the effects we can have on people through our experiences. And the reason I came up or thought about this idea is I just got off a call with a fucking beautiful man, a beautiful soul. Uh, we talk every couple of weeks and we come up with our goals. We make goals and, and just discuss life and the great things about it. And one of the last things I we said is I was sharing a quick story about um, how I've really engaged for the, the last the last while of my life um, telling everybody um, I love them and engaging uh, and <laughs> for me as a man in my fifties um, at first when I started saying it to my friends my friends were like what the fuck's wrong with him. But yeah, I, I made sure I said it to them all the time. I love you. I love you. And um, most of my friends won't say it back. But that's okay. I, I, I let them know that I love them. And um, for me, I heard my dad tell me he loved me twice my entire life. Once when I was 17. And it was the most awkward fucking thing that I've ever had. Um, especially for a 17-year-old. And then once when I was 30 or 31. Maybe 29. Um, and he hugged me, he hugged me. It was two times he hugged me actually too. Um, and he hugged me and he told me he loved me. And it was just this, it was sort of like the, the moment where I started to, to break that, that barrier between me and expressing my love in that way. But recently, at least we'll say no longer than say the last year, I've been telling everybody that I love them. And my point is this. So as a teacher, I, uh, I tell my kids when they leave, well, I love you guys, love you guys, love you, so-and-so and love you, whoever it may be. And I tell all the kids as they're leaving for the day that I, uh, that I love them or who loves you, I'll ask you. And there's this one young man, there's, there's at least a couple, but I noticed this week, all week, now this is a 17 year old young man. And every time he leaves, I love you. I love you, mister. And he'll, you know, call, he'll call out my name and he'll say, I love you. Love you. And he'll fucking whatever nickname he's got for me or for that day. And he'll tell me every day, but he doesn't, it's almost like he's doing it unconsciously now. He's just, as he's leaving, he's come, become into the habit of, of telling me that he, he loves me. And, uh, just the purest of way, like as he leaves. And I was amazed that a young man would be so open to sharing that type of expression to a teacher, to another man, to be honest with you, and um, be so comfortable with it. And it made me happy knowing that that for myself, as I expressed love more, I've become happier in life and I'm experiencing more love. But I really didn't start expressing as much as I am now, except for the last few years and even more in, in the last year and then even say more in the last six months or whatever it's been, it just grows and grows. But for him to be doing it at 17, it's... um. I find it absolutely amazing. And I'm thrilled that this uh, this young man has picked up on this, say, habit that I have of telling everybody I love them. May it be my mom, may it be my friends, may it be my colleagues. I tell my colleagues that when we leave for an extended period of time, you know, the ones, <laughs> the ones that I truly do, that I love them. And... Um, I guess my point is this, people will start to develop the habits of the people that are around them. And I'm having a positive effect on a young fucking man, a young life, uh, where he takes, when he moves on and he's talking to his parents, he's talking to his friends, he's talking to his future wife, he's talking to whoever it is. And he's now capable enough of expressing that love and that emotion and that beauty of it, of the moment 
and not being afraid or shameful of it in any way, shape, or form. So when you're out there communicating and expressing and being a part of someone else's life, then fucking be a positive influence. Tell people you love them. Hold doors open for them. Be a joy, smile, whatever it may be. But just be aware that the smallest things that you think about or do are going to affect people in the biggest and grandest fucking ways. So be that positive vision and that positive circle for people. Be that someone special that they could look back on in life and say, wow, that person really fucking meant something to me. Much love, everybody.